Welcome, folks, to the 2017 NCHA Summer Spectacular. We just had the non-pro final of the Classic Challenge. I'm here with the winner, Joe Howard Williamson, who rode Ms. Savannah Itchy and marked a 221 and a half. Congratulations to you, Joe. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Now, this is winning is no uh, stranger to you, but this is actually your first win in the Will Rogers. So this must be pretty special. Very special. I've had the opportunity to go to the world finals and be world's champion four times and make the finals 20 times but I've, and I've made the finals in some of these events before but uh, never even came close to winning one so yes this is real special. So what was different tonight for you? Oh I don't know I had a good draw and that makes lots of difference as we all know in the cutting industry and and uh, you know I had great help Phil Rapp, uh, Dusty and Guy Woods and uh, Matt Gaines and uh, my wife Bobby getting the horse ready. So uh, you know what, I had the best with me tonight and uh, they did a great job ever go around. I marked 18 and a half, 18 and then tonight a 221 and a half. And uh, you know, they get all the thanks, they, they did it all. Okay, Joe, take us through your run, cow by cow. Well, the first cow was right on the corner of the herd that I rode on the be on the left side when you're working of the herd and um, it was real in a real good spot and we had chose that cow and um, she drove up good and I got her cut clean the second cow was kind of in some cattle if I remember right and uh, she was a little tougher to cut but she cleaned up good it all cleaned up good and uh, you know when I cut the third the third cow that I was going to cut was back on Matt's side and when I quit my second cow and turned around, he said, Joe Howard, ride straight to me. So I rode straight to him, and there was the cow, and I drove her up and got her cut good and finished up pretty good. And that's what you call having faith in your help. You bet. You bet you. I've watched a lot of cows in my 20 years of cutting or so, but uh, I always listen to counsel. And how have you chosen who helps you? Just through the years, used different people and things like that. They were, the, of course, Guy Woods trained the horse, and uh, I can't say enough about his training and, and uh, his friendship. And Dusty works for Guy and Joe and Joe Ellard, and, and uh, Dusty does a fine job. And uh, so I thought those two for sure. And Matt's helped me a lot, and Phil's always helped me. We used to haul together when he used to haul for the world and stuff. So, uh, you know, friendships and things like that come into play when you get your help. It does with me. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Tell us, how does this differ competing at one of the Triple Count events and winning as opposed to hauling and the Worlds? Well, <clears throat> I think a lot of times hauling, you know, when you're hauling through the year, that run you make each day is so important. You know, and I mean, you kind of give it all, you know, every run. And here you, you don't hold back a whole lot but you know you try to advance along you know and, and make it to each go around step up each time and uh, that's a little hard for me to do I'm geared where I'm going pretty hard all the time and I get pretty excited and things so I really had to work on letting the Lord just calm me down and even tonight and I was a little too excited tonight to be honest. So you had a good feeling coming into it? Yes, I had a good feeling. I knew I had a good horse, but, you know, I still knew I had to work on slowing down, get my cuts made clean, because, you know, a bad cut here takes you out of it. And as I went through a judges seminar deal one time, and they said something like 75 or 80 percent of the people that get checks in Will Rogers cut the cattle in the middle of the pen. And if you don't, you usually don't get a check. So, you know, that's in my mind too as I ride up through that herd. I've got to hold those cattle still somehow and I've got to get cut in the middle of the pen. Great piece of advice there. Tell us about your horse, Joe. Uh, she's a six-year-old mare out of Caddy and um, she is a great mare. Uh, I think she had an injury uh, when she was younger and uh, but it doesn't seem to bother her and um, she hadn't been showed all that much and uh, she's just well, real well trained and so nice to be around and just a um, real athlete and just gives you everything she's got ever run. So obviously going to do a lot more showing with her? Oh 
I'll show her five or six times more this year, and then I'll retire. I've read her spots hot already. <laughs> She's a busy, busy horse. Thank you very much for your time, and congratulations. God bless you.